Hey guys, McJeffries here, and welcome back to uh, FIFA 15. McJeffries plays FIFA 15. Last episode, we did our first preseason, and we drew 0-0 with Crawley. Since then, I lost my second preseason 1-0, and I lost my third seat preseason 2-1. It's disappointing, to say the least. We only scored one goal, and that was from Darius Charles, and it was like a two-yard tap-in. So. Really, we, you know, we've got some work on to improve. We've got a game now against Wickham, though. And it's the start of the new season. I think we should give our away kit a bit of a, a tryout as well. Um, and here's our lineup. See, everyone is actually in a pretty good condition. We've got Bezant in goal, Ndongala, Dembele, Wells and Henry across the defence. And in the midfield, we've got Welpdale. Azog, Lee and Pet, and then up front we got Charles and Armstrong. I'm actually happy with that lineup. I don't really want to change that lineup, so the best thing to do is just to go straight into the game. Um whatever this arena game is, it wants me to shoot. Actually I'll give this one a go. Oh, that was close. That one was also close. That's what I wanted to do. That should be a pass. That should easily be a pass. Come on. Yeah. Two and a half times. No, two and a quarter times what I should have got. There we go. Right. Live commentary again. I think it went okay last time, actually. I found lots of things to talk about. Talking about the system, things like that. Uh, the use of Connect as well, also integrated into the game, which... I don't know, if you guys don't like that idea, then let me know and I'll do it via the controller or I'll start editing these videos down. But for now, I kind of like the idea of this, the whole immersive experience, keeping it raw, um, showing you guys absolutely everything that happens during these uh, these games. I think it's a pretty cool idea. It's something that I don't see many people doing and they're either not doing it because no one wants it or they're not doing it because they're trying to do something else. I don't know. That's why I want your guys' feedback on what you think I should do for these videos. Right, this is the Wickham team. Uh, who to look out for? Bloomfield, Cowan Hall, uh, Jacobson, and Ingram in goal. Steamish played Wickham a few weeks ago, and Wickham. I think Wickham won? No, Steamish won. That's right, it was the first game of the season. I'm completely, I'm all over the place mentally at the moment. It was the first game of the season. Stephen, Steamish won 1-0 uh, with a goal from Chris Welpdale. And a lot of the Wickham players weren't very nice. I think it's the nice way of saying it. Um, they're very aggressive in trying to win. I think it's fair to say. Um, and their number seven, Paris Cowan Hall, who I used to admire, I now know is just a little diving cheat. So we'll gloss over that and we'll just beat them instead. We'll beat them at their own game and that will make me feel a ton better about lots of different things. Right, their defender is 34 years old so he'll be over the hill heading towards the end of his career now. Um, might not be very fast in the old sprinting department so we can try and exploit that with Armstrong. Uh, especially when he's half his age, literally half his age, 17 to 34. Attacking. There we go. Get the old tactics ready. Now let's try and win the ball. Try and win it fairly. Whoops. I keep getting caught out doing that with uh, what I did there with Indungala. I sort of overcommit. It's my biggest flaw on this game is I overcommit. Right, Lee on the ball. Into the channel for Armstrong. Darius on side. Ah, it's not a good shot. Not a good shot. He scooped it with his foot rather than drive his foot through the ball. Uh, Calcutt did that for me in my um, second preseason game. He had a really good opportunity to just put his right foot through the ball, and instead he tried to scoop it with his left. And he actually challenged the keeper a bit better than what Darius did there, but it wasn't anywhere near enough to go in. It actually ended up going wide, so... You know, it could have gone in, but it didn't. Cancel. That's the one downside to connect. 
because it will do little things like that. Right, Armstrong on the ball. Whoops. I tried to cut inside there and he went a bit too flat for my liking. But he won the free kick. A warning from the referee. This squad's going to take some time to get used to, I think, because I'm used to playing with really fast, quick players, you know, good agility, good crossing skills, things like that. Um, and every time I start again in League 2, it takes me a game or two to sort of remember that I'm not playing with superstars, I'm playing with Football League players. If that's the f I think that's a fair way of saying it. Uh, switch to receiver. Who have we got? Welpdale. Where's Darius? There's Darius. Oh, nearly landed on his head. Crikey, Dembele. Getting a bit lucky there. Welpdale dinks it in. Comes back for a Zog. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Yikes, that was close. He knows that was close as well. He hit that well, though. If anything, he got his foot underneath it a little too much. And you can see Welpdale's reaction. Good cross from Welpdale as well, it must be said. I like the fact that the way FIFA is these days, you can do those quick stop-turn crosses. Whereas before, I mean, there's once where I tried it and it went out for a goal kick. It shows how bad it used to be. Um, or just how bad the player was at the time that I was trying to do it with. Who knows? Right, so we've had about 20 minutes of the game with it as it is. Swap wings. We're going to change it up a little bit. Oh, better ball needed there from Darius Charles. Whoa, Henry. We got the throw, but I pressed A to head it, and for some reason he just ran away from it. Oh, that's not a good ball either. That was totally my fault. I am underestimated that. Alright, pet on the ball. Again, we'll cut inside. Oh, dear. Long ball. I don't want to park the bus. Attacking. Attacking. Yeah, Connect sometimes misunderstands what you're trying to say to it. Um, which is frustrating, but... You see there, it's very, very easy to fix. You just got to use your voice. You don't have to use the controller. Right, Azog missing the header there when perhaps he could have won it. Um, and that's a foul against Dean Wells. There we go, get to see Azog shot again. Caught it well outside of the foot, nice little swerve, beat the keeper and actually managed to hit a pretty hard area of the goal to hit. That corner between the crossbar and the post. Um, it's just a shame it, it didn't hit the underside of the crossbar and went in. Oops. Okay, that's probably going to be a yellow for Charlie Lee. Now, I pressed that to boot the ball away. Um, what actually happened was, he went straight through the guy. <laughs> it's one of those challenges where if I did that online, especially if I did that in clubs, we'd be laughing about that for ages. Look at that. He took one in the face doing that, actually. Charlie Lee. Where's his yellow card, ref? Huh? Kicking in the face. It's not allowed. Get sent off for that, normally. Right, I've got to defend this free kick now. Look at that, you see the corner of his mouth. There you go, and again. This game is so much more alive now. Oof, I'll tell you what. Darius Charles fell for that. And the wall didn't jump. That wasn't far wide. That was not far wide. Alright, let's kick this along to Darius. Okay, let's kick this long to Lee. Flicks it to Darius. Up and under. Oh. Oh, Armstrong. Needs to be stronger. He's got it back. Now he needs to be quicker. You can never win, can you? It's always one or the other. Swap wings. Wow. Ndungala caught way out of position. That's Dembele bringing his man down. Oh, crikey. That's not gone well. Looks like Dembele's got away with getting booked, though. 
Yeah, I thought they'd be given a corner for that. That's a bit unfair, ref. He tripped me to stop me getting the ball. Right, cross comes in. Oh, yo. They're getting closer. That shot from Mazog was the only real chance we've had so far. Is that Paul Hayes? I think that's his name. Paul Hayes with the header. Alright, let's go short this time. Welpdale had Darius inside, but for some reason chose not to pass it. Wow, we're getting passed off the pitch at the moment. I just can't win the ball back. Oh, good save, Bezant. There's an injury. <laughs> Who's that? Is that Welpdale? Keeps kicking him. That's the chance that's just been saved by Bezant. Is it a substitution or is it... It wasn't a very good challenge, that. He's definitely injured. Could that possibly be a broken ankle? Or is he not being subbed? I don't think he's even been subbed. I think they're just replaying the tackle. Maybe our guy got booked. Oh no, he is injured. Just hasn't been taken off yet. Right, man on the front post getting that away. Darius Charles on the ball now. Yeah, Zoke got booked for that challenge. Armstrong back towards Charles. Couldn't quite reach him. Again, unlucky. We trying our hardest at the moment. It's very, very difficult to break these teams down. Might have to have another look at our formation. Maybe go to a, a flat 4-4-2. Right, right, Ronnie on the ball. Lee and acres of space. Long range drive just over the bar. Right on the half-time whistle as well. So yes, I'm going to skip through this bit. We don't need to see the highlights because we've... Uh, We've seen them already. There we go. Second half. Let's do this. So both of our central midfield players have been booked now. So we're going to have to watch out making challenges with either of them. I want to try and get a quick start. Needed a better ball there from Armstrong. Need to play in behind the defenders rather than in front of or on the top of. Oh dear. Not a very good shot, that one from Pet. Needs to do better there. Here's the tackle from Azog again, which got him booked. You can see there's definitely, he definitely catches his, the guy's foot. Traps it underneath his leg. That could easily be a, an ankle break. Um, if the guy isn't lucky. But I think he got away with that one. Alright, Darius needed to be a little bit quicker in getting that that ball. Oh, Zog. Blocked it, just couldn't pick up the loose ball. Right, Welpdale wins it back into Lee. Not a good pass from him, but Darius wins it back to Pet. Again, we're not getting much movement up front at the moment. Oh dear, that's poor first touch. Wasn't the best ball from Ronnie, Ronnie Henry, but um, Pet could have done a lot better. Just needed a better first touch. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good run in behind from Darius. Now we needed the cam to make the run in, but Lee was elsewhere. Darius again winning it back. Lay it off. There we go. Oh, it's a really poor effort from Azog. Oh, double substitution. Matt McClure, I know who he is. I have him on my football manager career. Good player. Very good player. Might look at signing him at some point. Depends how good he is on here. Um, substitution. Substitution. Charles. Zola. 
Oh dear. Substitution. Lee. Galindo. Make that double sub. Bring on um, Galindo and Zola to try and improve our attacking options. Lee and Darius have been a bit non-existent out there today. Especially Lee with his yellow card. He, he's definitely been quiet since then. Oh dear. Poor header from Armstrong. All out attack. Definitely going to try and push for a goal now. Ah, needs to do better with those. Oh, Ronnie's been caught out of position now. Get back. Block from Dembele, so that'll be another Wickham corner. We finally get to make our substitutes. Substitutions. There you go, Wells giving Dembele a pat on the back for that block. There you go, Galindo and Zola on Lee and Ch and Charles off. Yeah, does that look like Calvin Zola? If anyone out there knows what Calvin Zola looks like, yeah, they got the dreadlocks, right? I suppose they got the hairstyle. Not dreadlocks, Are they cornrows? I don't know. I'm not really a hairstylist, so not an expert. Right, Dembele with the ball there to Zola. Armstrong, he's got the chance to break away now. Ah, and he's a good touch. That's a foul. That's got to be a red card as well, ref. He's last man. That has to be a red. Yes, it is as well. Oh, dear. I was just saying there as well, Armstrong, the first two touches were good. The third one needed to be good. And he managed to shield it. See, just there he got his body in the way, touched the ball away and then got brought down. So, yep, last man, foul, straight red. Okay, how are we going to take this free kick? Armstrong's currently standing over it. Let's have a look, see. I have some ideas, but I don't want to get them wrong, because they'll be very, very embarrassing if I did get them wrong. So let's have a look at this. We'll go like that, like that, and like that. Oh, straight at the keeper. <coughs> Needed to do better with that one. Armstrong certainly wasn't happy. Right, he's in. He's in. Armstrong. Oh, the keeper saved it. Oh, no. I got so annoyed then my headset came off. Oh, he caught it with the outside of his foot. Ingram got lucky. That could have gone through his legs. Okay, corner. Let's have Galindo on this corner. And then we'll call... Is that Dembele? We'll call him short. And then we'll try and swing this into the box. Oh, I was hoping that would kick on through. Hit it! Oh, is that Armstrong again? I think it is as well. That was a really good ball in from Welpdale, I think that was. Yeah, it looked like Welpdale. You can see the whole team. Whole team with their heads in the air. Substitution. Armstrong. Actually, cancel. Substitution. Azog. Azog. Um, Worley. Not often you bring on a really, really tall centre back to play defence midfield, is it? Now it's five minutes to go. Right. We got so much space, we need to exploit it. That could have been a really good pass as well. Zola just needed to be a bit more alert. Long ranger from Galindo, wide. Needs to be better. Pet not happy. There's the Sarbazo coming off. Wally coming on. Might need to sign another midfielder. Or at least put another midfielder on the bench. I'm going to have another look at my bench actually. Because I don't think we need two strikers on our subs bench. I think we'll be alright with uh, 
with just the one. Oh dear, was Oak not very happy being brought off, not giving Wally the fives. Wow, where's their other defender? Is he only just yeah, I see him coming back there. Right, come on, get the ball, get the ball. All out attack. Oh, come on. Poor from Wally. Right, Pet wins it. Please be onside. He is as well. Calvin Zola. Oh, no! <laughs> is he left footed? I think he must be left footed. Oh, that looks bad. Where are their defenders, though? Oh, I really should have won that one. That was appalling. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry that I missed that chance at the end. That was really, really bad. Right, I'm going to end this episode here so I can go off and cry to myself for a bit. Um, I'm going to leave you watching the highlights whilst I round this one up. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. And until next time, I will see you soon.